Okay, so this is the custom version of Windows 10 from the Discord, uh, WOR 3.0, so nothing new. Um, but something new came up in the comments. So Maximum Taco, I know this is off topic, but I got Wi-Fi working in the WOR project for Pi 4 8 gig. It's a bit of a workaround, but it works. Interested. So obviously I replied, and someone else replied uh, before me. Uh, I said, did you mention the Discord? He's not on the Discord, um, but uh, he did a video on it. And uh, in the video, he basically uses a Samsung, I'll put a link in the description to his video. Uh, he uses a Samsung phone and he shares the Wi-Fi uh, over USB. Now, I'd said on here, yes, I covered Bluetooth tethering from the phone in this video, WOR7, I don't know what we're on now, 20 something. So if we go into my video, uh, somewhere along here, Nice to see scrubbing works pretty well on uh, Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's good scrubbing. Uh, I have phone and network tethering in here somewhere. Uh, here we are. It will be this section because that screenshot will be my iPhone. So I'm an iPhone user and uh, I did look this up. Uh, on iPhones and it looks like if you do USB tethering it uses the data connection from your phone but it looks like Wi-Fi doesn't need to do that there you go so I did it with Bluetooth in this video so it was using Bluetooth but it was using cellular data now not everybody wants to use cellular data to run their Pi uh, so let's give it a try with some Android devices so first things first we need to remove the Ethernet cable so we have no data there you go uh, and I've got three Android devices. I've got this little Motor Motorola Atrix, uh, which is not going to work, but I got it out because it was in the drawer anyway. I've got my Google Pixel and I've got my LG G3. So I'm going to try the G3 first. It's charging at the moment. So let's plug that in. I love this um, charging plug section. To the Pi, into the USB 3 socket. So I'm plugged in now and the phone's lit up, so I know it's all right. So we've got allow this computer to access. I'm going to say cancel on that because I don't think I need to do that. I think I need to go into settings and I need to look up tethering. And oh, USB tethering is not showing up. Look. I wonder why that is. So if I drop down here, still using cables, try wireless file management, charge your phone, tap for more use USB options. I might have to try it, um, accepting it with the computer. Let's try that. So I'm unplugging and plugging in again. Go for tethering. Yeah, I don't get the option there. I don't know why I don't get the option on that one. Let's go for media transfer protocol and see if that does it. Is that going to give me the option for tethering? Tethering. It's still not there. Okay, I'm going to try the Pixel. So I plugged in the Pixel. Uh, let's go to settings. And let's search for tethering. Yeah. Oh, USB tethering was there, wasn't it? Share phones, internet connection as USB. So let's do that. Oh, here we go, that. Do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable? I'm going to say yes. Well, it's just working. Right, I'm going to switch over to screen capture. So just a little thing about my uh, Pixel 3a. I don't use this with a SIM card, so there is no SIM card in this. So it's definitely using the Wi-Fi connection. So yeah, let's switch back over to screen capture. So if I click on that again, I guess it will tell me what it is, network and internet connections. Is it going to tell me it's a Pixel 3a? Network to private network. Ethernet, Network 2 connected. You can set it as a metered connection, but then if you're on Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter anyway, really. Link speed, Microsoft. I just wanted it to say something about um, it being on, on the phone. Status. There's a different, is it this one? There's, there's more the traditional set. Ah, here we go. This is more the traditional looking settings. Ethernet 2, status, properties. Uh, 
uh, status. Wow, it looks like it's working, 425.9 megabits per second. Okay, right, let's just, let's just try the internet on it. So we'll open up Edge. Let's do BBC. Yeah, it's working. So my ethernet cable isn't plugged in, you saw me unplug it. This is definitely using uh, Wi-Fi. It's using my phone like a Wi-Fi router. So this isn't possible on iPhone. From what I've read, the iPhone only shares its internal data connection. So it's a win for Android. I'm, a, I'm an iPhone user, uh, but I've always used Android. I like Android uh, for various different reasons. But uh, for my daily driver, I'd, I love my iPhone. But um, it's great to have all different systems. Yeah, this the internet feels fast as well. I'm guessing this uh, Pixel 3a has got quite a recent Wi-Fi uh, system on it because you know it's not that old a phone. I got it very cheap because I, I did a load of training, got a load of points from Google and paid a silly price for it. So I, I just had to buy it. And uh, it's been really good. It's been really good for emulation and things like that. So eBay, yeah, excellent. So. It's one way around, uh, even with, hopefully with older phones. I couldn't work out how to do it with my G3, but to be fair, I didn't try very long. Maybe you can use it on older Android devices, but at least this shows you that it is possible. So thanks very much to Maximum Taco. It's a great tip, uh, and I'll mention... So thanks very much to Maximum Taco. What a great tip. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.